Hello everyone, Pro Ace here. This is the notes. They just barely came out today. Uh, episode, version 39 is released. Let's just review the Paragon updates because that'll hit the um, bosses and other events that use them. Paragons. For this update, we've given Paragons their own section due to a large number of changes to the system. Also note, while we have provided the numerical changes, do not take any of the raw damage numbers at face value. They will not be entirely equivalent to actual performance changes in gameplay. Okay, so play with it and check it out and see. Paragon fixes and changes. Resolve the bug that was benefiting different Paragon's boss damage by differing amounts. Okay, that's vague. Resolve an issue preventing other Paragon damage bonuses, like ceramic camo from scaling with degrees. Also vague. Building any Paragon in a real game will now unlock that Paragon's upgrade for use in Sandbox. I just barely went through this, and you can actually do the challenges for this. So there's a lot of challenges just called Paragon. You can search Paragon, and you can unlock them in about, takes about 10 minutes or so. Uh, you have to just find the right Paragon, that the, the right challenge, the right content for it, that has all of them available, and you just can cycle through them. Some of them just have like the ninja or the dart, and you can go through it. So. Paragon Cash Slider. Upon purchasing any Paragon upgrade, the confirmation prompt now includes an option to inject extra cash into the transformation. This scales from zero up to the max amount of cash that could be spent to max cash contribution, and also displays a combined cost of this plus the base cost upgrade. Um, so on testing on this, there's a limit. Um, when I was doing Monkey Meadows with the Dark Paragon, so I have the four monkeys, um, all tier five, and the max amount of cash, it got up to Paragon level 59. So you can't get to 100 with just that, and that was including the um, cash slider all the way to the right. And it's about 600,000 monkey, monkey cash. Boss, boss bonus damage. As most Paragons were positively benefiting benefiting in terms of boss damage, we want to increase the intended boss damage multiplier a little more. Paragon boss damage multiplier each 20 degrees increase from 25% to 25, 20% to 25%. So we're going to want to do Paragon level 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 if possible in order to maximize that increase if I'm reading it correctly. Dart Monkey. Dart Monkey is intended to be the cheapest, somewhat entry-level Paragon, so being locked behind a 300,000 price tag meant that all of the Paragons would have to be higher than that as well. While not too drastically lowering all Paragons, this update, the new lower floor on Paragon costs will allow for much more leeway in design going forward. We lowered the power somewhat to justify this new price, however, not that much as it was one of the more heavily nerfed in power from the bug fix as well. In addition to this, now that the ceramic bonus is scaling properly, we wanted to increase the value of its bonus far more to bring it out of that juggernaut bonus against Dreadbloon Plus. So um, they nerfed the Dart Monkey against Dreadbloon, and here's a price reduction: 325 to 150. The damage reduction from 20 to 15. Ceramic damage increased from 30 to 75, and the cooldown on attack: um, 0.35 seconds to 0.4. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. That's pretty quick. Boomerang. A few buffs for the boomerang end up being split and spread out over a few updates. So the boomerang paragon reduced range from 75 to 60. The price reduction, 350 to 275. Main attack boss damage multiplier reduced from 60 to 50. The press attacks final explosion boss bonus reduced from 5,000 to 4,000. The press attacks cooldown delay increased to 3. The orbital attack bonus boss damage reduced from 160 to 150. The orbital attack radius reduced from 60 to 50. Don't really know exactly what all those means. We'll have to test it to see if it makes a big difference. Buccaneer. Uh, doesn't look like there was just mid grade, mid range costs. A little nerf. So. The turret's cooldown is delayed from, oh my gosh, that's so specific, that number to that. I don't know if you'd even notice the difference in that seconds. 
the planes attack cooldown increase from 0.15 to 0.18, and the planes radial attack cooldown delayed from 1.5 to 1.8. Those will, will probably be hardly noticeable updates based upon it, these numbers. Monkey Ace. Limiting many changes to Ace for now, we feel that it wasn't nerfed that badly from the bug fix, and we also currently want it to stay one of the much higher level price tags. It has proven performing incredibly well, even as the most expensive Paragon. However, it is very cooldown dependent. The Monkey Ace Paragon Carpet Bomb ability increased from 40 seconds to 45. Okay. Wizard Monkey was our, one of the more heavily impacted Paragons losing power from the bug fix. Okay. So are they going to um, increase it? And had a few planned buffs aside from this anyway. We're ha happy keeping a much more expensive side with a higher skill requirement. So to keep justify keeping this higher price tag, significant buffs were necessary to keep it in line. The small zombie sub projectile pierce increased from 20 to 50. Drain beam damage increased from 50 to 200. A arcane spike attack Moab damage increased from 200 to 50. Arcane spike across attack boss damage increased from 100 to 150. Dark Phoenix Firebomb attack now deals bonus damage to bosses plus 50. Metamorphosis Flamethrower attack pierce increased from 30 to 100. And attack boss bonus increased from 500 to 1000, so doubled. So the Flamethrower attack is going to be a lot more powerful for bosses. Ninja Monkey, no changes here for now. Okay, that's good to know. Engineer Monkey, no changes here for as well. Um, okay, looks like they're going to be doing some monitoring of it to make sure it's right. And looking forward, um, this is the one for the Paragon. It's the Monkey Sub Paragon has been confirmed, but it doesn't. It looks like it's not going to be till next year, and it doesn't necessarily mean 41. So they don't really give you a time frame for it. Uh, it's just that's the next one, and you know, I'm, I'm going to guess 41. Just you know, they want to put it out there, but. They want to hold to it. It looks like there's a lot of changes for these, which are pretty exciting. I think the overall Paragon change is is good. Let's uh, let me look into let me um, load up the game right now. Change this up, and we can look at the the sandbox real quick on what that meant for the slider and so forth. So if we and this is that slider they're talking about. So you can put in six hundred and seventy two to make it a paragon. You get level fifty nine. Let's do boomerang. that out as well 1.2 we may have to give ourselves more cash 56 okay so three point three that's crazy high and it goes to 56 so 56 56 59 so Looks like 56 looks to be the max. Um, let's see if we can give these up and see what if we can have enough money for it. Or if it, if it goes down to zero, we know we definitely won't have enough. Uh, 403. Yeah, okay, so we'll have a little monkey left, so this will be the max. And 56 as well. It looks like the max you can get is level 56 with the monkey cash. So economy and bosses are going to be really strong so 56 and then this doesn't include the damage that you do you, you know put a flying fortress down to you know farm some pops and so forth so really exciting looks like 56 is going to be the max and 59 for the dart including the cash slider so really exciting to see the paragons being updated let's keep it up let me know what you think below